Yo, this is our Splatterhouse Halloween mix. Thank you for tuning in with us. I'm Joey. I'm Damon, and we're the Bass Brothers. We got tons of deep goodies, spooky favorites, and new sounds for you to check out. Now sit back and enjoy. 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 <laughs> FM, WIDR, Kalamazoo. Welcome to this week's installment of The Splatter House. With me, DJ Will Kill, taking you into your Hollow Weekend overnight. Now, it may not technically be Halloween yet, but by the time I broadcast next week, it will be Day of the Dead so it'll be too late by then. Henceforth, the fourth annual Splatterhouse Halloween special commences now. Just like last year, we are getting started at 10 o'clock instead of midnight, because just like last year, I have three very special guest slots. And, unlike last year, where I brought in guests that were more or less in the same genre style as my own show, I realized Halloween is the perfect time to do something that is totally the opposite of what you would normally do. So I invited guests that were of different types of electronic genres than the type I usually play. And with that in mind, I'd like to welcome my very first special guests of the evening, the dynamic duo the bros with the beats. The Bass Brothers. We live? What's up, guys? Yeah, how you guys doing? Yeah, are you sleeping over there or what? <laughs> Just a little bit, no? <laughs> first first time jitters. We, uh, we a little tired. We've been working hard lately. Yes, I understand you're uh, cutting it a little bit close on this mix here, right? Yeah, we threw it together in the last uh, like 36 hours, and we just finished in the last... Half an hour to forty-five minutes. Yeah, we're adding a little bit of uh, some stuff a little late, but we're we're really impressed with how it turned out. Juiced it all up for you guys. Oh, good, good. I'm uh, very excited to hear what you got for me. However, I would like to um, I'd like to open up the segment here with a brief interview with the two of you. Yeah, it sounds perfect. Uh, let's do that. We're we'll honored. Let's yes, do. welcoming Joey and Damon, collectively known as the Bass Brothers. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Joey. Thanks for having us, Will. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you guys very much for agreeing to come on. Um, I couldn't think of who I wanted to invite this year, so I thought I would invite the guest that the people would expect the least. And that's where you guys come in, you know? So you guys are based out of Kalamazoo, Michigan, right here. Uh, but where are you both from originally? So we grew up in a town called Pickney. And uh, me and Damon went to school there. We grew up in middle school. Yeah, we uh, we met in the seventh grade, and uh, we've developed a close bond throughout the year through hardships and good friendships. Uh, we've grown up pretty close. We did a lot of sports growing up together. Yeah, what kind? That's where it really all started. Uh, wrestling. Uh, oh, we did track together. <laughs> yeah, track <laughs> not, for not very fast. <laughs> Uh, played football in high school. Was also pretty terrible at that. But yeah, I was gonna say neither of the two yeah. of you look like you'd be doing uh, wrestling or football. <laughs> but, track, uh, track maybe, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was a uh, I was a little chubby one, so I tried to throw shot put, but I wasn't even good at that. But it was it was a fun, <laughs> eventful year. <laughs> yeah. So how did you guys end up here? So I decided I go to school out here. I go to Western. Um, after school, high school ended, Damon decided to move down to Florida, and I drove 16 hours by myself and drove down there and convinced him to move up and make music with me. Yeah, and uh, so, yeah, he did, uh, 
he did convince me to move up and then uh, so I came up with intentions to try to start on working on music and it's bred into a passion and a lifestyle and uh, surrounded in a scene very grateful for uh, it's a lot better than Florida in my opinion you know, I'm <laughs> grateful for that <laughs> a lot less colder but you know music scene more. up here is awesome yeah, I mean, there's not much going on in Florida anyway besides humidity, right? Yeah, dude, and then cockroaches. No one likes cockroaches. Yeah, meth, All the gators. Meth gators. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, since you guys are um, a duo, I have to imagine that you both kind of bring your own individual influences into uh, creating the Bass Brothers mixes. So if you could, can you tell me about each of your own individual influences and how they play into your style? Well, I like uh, I play piano, so I like a lot more different songs that more land on the melody and flow more like that. But in terms of like our production and mixing style, uh, I'm really big into dub. A lot of our our mixing will show that tonight. Um, a lot of the deep stuff, stuff that it starts, it's what started dubstep in my you know wholeheartedly. I'm a uh I'm a big fan of hip hop through and through as well. So I try to work a lot of lyric edits into a lot of things as well as just hip hop breakdowns if we can in sets. Uh, there's a there's a couple of lyric edits in here you guys can enjoy. And then I play the drums as well. So I like to focus heavy on rhythm and how a drum track can make you flow and make you move with just the drums itself. And then we combine our styles a lot we'll butt heads on tracks a lot but that's what brings out the best tracks as well so we just are never satisfied with each other's work so we keep bouncing it back and forth always flowing baby like water <laughs> <laughs> and how long have you guys how long has the bass brothers actually been a thing and how long have you been playing shows now our first show was 2017 it was three three weeks before my birthday um no i'm sorry 2018 wow <laughs> holy cow it's Wasn't been it yeah that that soon um so less than two years yeah it's a good um, that. but it's been crazy. very but it's been very eventful for very eventful we've been moving yeah. yeah we've been moving a lot uh so the goal this year was to play uh at the beginning of this year was to play our first show at the intersection and this year we have our third coming up in uh their second biggest room yeah, yeah, we're going to uh, open up for Immersive on November 23rd in the Elevation yeah. up in Grand Rapids. You guys can come check that out, like, absolutely. If people are interested. Yeah, cool. definitely. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I've only been to the uh, to the Elevation section one time, but I can definitely tell you I saw the best electronic show I've ever seen in that little club, and that was for Infected Mushroom. Okay. I was there for that show, too, as well. They put on a great performance, yeah. How on earth did I not see you then? I don't know. I, I was hiding around, so. Right. No, I was Keep in the middle down. of that, man, wearing the Jägermeister <laughs> jersey and everything. Always, <laughs> always rough in the Jäger. Damn straight. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, and uh, so you've, um, excuse me, so you are you got a show with Mersive coming up. Uh, who are some other artists that you've been able to work with over the past year? Or the past almost two years or whatever? So a couple weeks ago, we got the privilege of working with our mentor, Sully. Uh, we've been taking lessons with him and uh, doing a lot of sound stuff. And that was our first sold-out show. We sold out uh, the stash, which is also part of the intersection. That was uh, 400 people. It was awesome. Yeah, it was with uh, Champagne Drip as the headliner and then Lucid underneath him and then Sully. And then we got added on a couple of days perfect. before. Awesome. I'm very grateful to play on that yeah. show. It was, a, it was a great experience. Terrific experience. Really eye-opening. We got uh, got the privilege to play some new tracks. We were excited. We've been working hard on this remix, uh, West Side Rollin'. We, we just included it in this mix, actually. We, yeah, and uh, it was just a great feeling to see people move to music that you yeah. produce. Like It's something that I haven't been able to experience yet, and I surely hope to experience a lot more in the future. And was that you guys who opened up for uh, Caspar or Rusko or one of the two recently, or am I thinking of somebody else? That was someone else, but we uh, we did Flux Pavilion earlier this summer. Oh, that man. Was, yeah. <laughs> oh, what an opportunity, huh? Yeah, yeah it's, it's been a fun really? ride. We've uh, We've been able to meet some of our 
greatest idols so far and then hopefully in the future be able to work with them so we'll see how life plays out but we're gonna keep our feet moving um you know speaking of immersive um i am not trying to throw anybody under the bus here but basically because he was talking about the kind of music that i play on my show what do you think of that crack he made recently about dark and satanic music? Who wants to take this one? Who wants to take this one? <laughs> this is so funny. Me and Damon were literally just talking about this. Um, you know, I think any artist should be able to have their own freedom of expression to be able to uh, talk how they want to talk. Um, and represent themselves. Exactly. But I also think it's not a good image to be able to talk down upon other people's art. Uh, and then, uh, especially, you know what it takes. To and I create. also think that it's difficult. You as yourself will know if you're using it as a gimmick to get a marketing ploy, yeah. or if you are just using it as out of personal exactly. image. Exactly. So I don't because think that's was, how you truly like it. Right. I don't think he was trying to bash anyone. I think he was just trying, like, you know, if you use it as a gimmick, or you're you know, just hopping on the train, right. per se. That's that's my whole outlook on it. Yeah. My bad for cutting you off. No. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, in just a few minutes here, uh, we will be gracing our ear holes with your new exclusive Splatterhouse mix. But I got a couple more questions for you. First of all, first of all, do you have a costume for this year? For tonight? No. We uh, missed out on that one, but last year we did uh, Mario and Luigi. I was Luigi and he did Mario, and that was when we played. We opened for Yoki. Um, they're a big bass duo. They play, I think they did EDC this year, or Ultra. It's been, they've been moving the past couple of years pretty big. Well, I was, I was talking more like for Halloween in general this year. Um, nothing this nothing year yet, yet no. I mean, I kind of want to be the dude from the Big Lebowski. <laughs> <laughs> just so I can, just so I can lounge around in comfy clothing, but I have nothing set in stone or nothing planned, to be honest. So I'll probably be working or no. I'm not going to the base no, next right. show, but I may be working if we have work on the Thursday. Yeah. All right, so to be determined, essentially. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Do either of you guys play Mortal Kombat? Love Mortal Kombat. Have you played 11 or 10? No. All right, well, then you wouldn't understand my costume, then. <laughs> What's what your costume, costume, though? My costume is going to be Aaron Black, a new character who was introduced in Mortal Kombat X, and they brought back for 11. I remember playing a, yeah, yeah, Mortal Kombat X. I remember X. The cowboy? Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about, or are you just... No, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> I actually know what you're talking about. Like. <laughs> I haven't played it since, like, the, uh, the N64, so it's been a minute. <clears throat> uh, that would have been, like, Mortal Kombat 4. Four, I think, or yeah, trilogy. I want to say, trilogy, yeah, maybe? it was trilogy. Trilogy is what it was. Yep, 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 yep. Cool, cool. All right, next question, and then I think it'll be about time for us to dive into the mix here. I, actually, I got one more after this. For the both of you, what's your favorite scary movie? Mine's a uh, sinister. Uh, it's it's relatively new in the whole sense of cinematic stuff, but I like the uh, the soundtrack on it a lot, and it's been. It was one of the first scary movies I ever was fully engaged through through the whole movie. I I, I do like that one a lot. <laughs> Made me scared too. That's funny. That's also my favorite movie. Uh when we were younger, we had an awesome experience where Damon and I went to the movie theater and we went with his mother and <laughs> I literally like cried like next to him, like my hands behind my eyes. It was so it was so fucking scary. <laughs> Okay, okay. And I, I understand one of your guys' moms is tuned in right now as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's trying to, but she's, she's texting me and says she still can't get the uh, the link to work. So uh -oh. I, don't, I don't know. Um, Uh-oh. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm kind of sad about it, but yeah. life's life. If we have the recording, I'll send it to her after. Yeah, And yeah. then just we'll, gift her like that. Yeah, we'll work something out. Will, <laughs> I noticed uh, your hat. You got the Sacred Vibrations festival pin yes you, sir you, i what, do what, what year did you get that at um let me think that would have been 2018 as a matter of fact because most unfortunately i was not able to make it out this year because it ended up getting booked on the one festival weekend that i cannot miss Damn, what weekend's that 
It was the same weekend as Wheatland Music Festival. Oh, okay. Now, that, that was my first music festival, you know, and uh, that's the one that's the most important to me. And uh, I, I made a pact with myself that I would never miss that festival no matter what. And as much as I loved Sacred Vibrations and the music and all my friends being there, I had to do that one for me. Right. You know? Exactly. Sometimes you got to do you, man. I was going to say, though, this uh, you lucked out this year because this was the year, first year we played. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, make me feel like a jerk over here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, but we, we feel the same way. It's it's one of our favorite festivals, man. Like, seriously, they do have the sacred vibes. <laughs> Great community aspect there. Yeah, no, the opinion. festival unquestionably lives up to its name. Definitely. You know, it delivers what it promises. Um, you've got the best of the best of local and regional uh, electronic music. And then you have these big name headliners that incorporate spiritual messages into their music. Like, I'll never forget that very first year. It was Desert Dwellers and Calius Scintilla headlining Crazy, together. Dude. Great lineup. Along with Ott, O T T. Okay. Ott, Ott's yes. the man. Okay. Next question. Wait, no. Yes. Yes, actually. So I don't know how, how often you guys do interviews. Um, but I would like to know, is there anything that you ever wish people would ask you about in regards to the Bass Brothers? Because if there is something you guys would like to talk about yourselves, we can discuss that right now. This is our first interview, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Uh, so, no, honestly. But if <laughs> <laughs> At least from my point of view. What about yourself, Joey? That's crazy. I feel like there's just so much. There's always something people can ask. Because me and me and Damon, we've been best friends since middle school. So we've been best friends for just about 10 years now. So it's like literally anything or anything, man, we've gone through. You could ask us about. And we've got some type of answer or story to tell. But, you know. Nothing in particular. Yeah. All right. No, yeah. I've, uh, I've never had to mull over that thought in my mind before because i've never really had people ask us questions about our musical career all right well i'll tell you what after the mix is over if by that point you have thought of something that you would like to discuss then we can talk about it after the fact okay all right all right well with that in mind boys i'm very excited to see what you got for me here so it is my great personal pleasure to be able to debut the Bass Brothers Splatterhouse Halloween Mix 2019. Absolutely. Thank you so much for having us, Will. Hey, my pleasure, guys. Thank you for coming on. Dude, of course. We had such a great time. Enjoy. Hey, the night's not over yet. Woo, that's true. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs>